Friday, April 24th, was a shit show in almost every direction. Between Billy the Fat Fuck uh, essentially sucking Onision's dick the entire time he was in front of his front yard, to Onision showing up dressed like this. The court case that's been notably talked about, the protection order that Onision decided to file against Chris Hansen, we'll get into that one, not that Chris Hansen, and uh, Daniel Zulzbach, or Repsion was so fucking embarrassing that uh, I kind of had to talk about it. On Thursday the 16th of January, Onision filed a civil suit for protection against Chris Hansen and Mr. Repsion, Daniel Sulzbach. Now fast forward about a week and he shows up in court dressed like small child with a bulletproof vest on, wearing the shittiest looking Adidas shoes, and he came in wearing this beanie. This is a, a snapshot somebody got in a fucking elevator with him, and it's embarrassing. He desperately tried getting out of court, essentially claiming that uh, he got better legal advice and that the legal ways he went after both Repsion and fit, uh, not Chris Hansen, Chris Hansen too, was not the way he wanted to right now. So essentially he's going to try suing them in different ways instead of getting a protection order, which means it's only going to be more embarrassing later. Yes, now from there uh, in his embarrassing suit, everybody kind of went their separate ways. Repsion apparently signed some stuff for some fans. That's a different thing. And then we get to Billy the Grifter, or, or sorry, Billy the Fat Fuck. My bad. I, I didn't get his name right. Uh, Billy the Fat Fuck decided to originally drive to the courthouse, but he got a flat tire because he's incompetent. And then he decided to, and I'm not going to try to show too much of the, the stream, but uh, he decided to essentially softball questions to Onision, practically sucking his cock right there on the fucking driveway. Ask James questions about grooming. Stop being afraid of Onision Billy. Uh, did you shave today? Oh, I had a beard and then I grew myself. And then... Uh, essentially gets dry humped by Onision. Oh god. Alright, here you go. Alright. Uh huh. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I'm simulating fucking you in front of my house. I know. Yeah. You like that? I mean. You like that, you little bitch? I, huh? Did the chat yeah. like it? No. Mm. God. Yeah. No. Damn it. no. Yeah. Okay, it, it's turn unanimously turn poor. Let's turn around. Here you go. Oh, fuck. Your fucking tits. You're such a fucking perfect tits, bitch. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. <laughs> Is that fun? And then goes home with his fat tail between his fat ass legs. Sorry, I'm a little upset at him. I think he's a cunt. But uh, something funny, because I've never really seen Greg around uh, tall human beings. I think he's about five foot four. Has anyone noticed that? Onision's probably about five foot four. How embarrassing. But yes, no. The, the other Chris Hansen even wrote here. I, Chris Hansen, request a motion to dismiss a complaint from a plaintiff due to improper service. I have nothing to do with this very public case, and I do not know the petitioner, nor the respondent. Well, respondent. This case involves an ongoing investigation of petitioner by investigative journalist Chris Hansen, former host of a show To Catch a Predator. I am not Chris Hansen from To Catch a Predator. Given I am not the intended recipient of this complaint, there shouldn't be a case against me. I'm not the person the plaintiff is seeking harassment protection from. I request the court to grant this notion and dismiss the complaint without prejudice. Here's an interesting question that I have. How many times do you think this Chris Hansen has been sued? I just want to po posit that question. But yes, no, so many memes have been made out of Onision's uh, embarrassing 5 foot 6 uh, level stature. He looks embarrassing. But yes, I wanted to touch on the subject just a little bit because it came up everywhere and I just thought talking about it would be interesting. Onision is pathetic. Imagine being a grown man and then suing or getting a protective order on people and being like, uh, no, mm -mm, I ain't doing this actually. He's just a little bitch. Anyways, with that, we're gonna roll out to a patron outro. I just wanna make a quick video for y'all. Gonna run it down from the top this time. Ah, uh, like we do every time. Why did I say that? Uh, at our new $20 patron amount, uh, we have uh, Mio, or Mio Killa, who you've seen in our live stream chats. Um, uh, 20 bucks, which was unexpected. Uh, and then at our $10 tier, we got Fee and Amaret. Uh, and then at our $4.99 tier, we have Aslan, Ichi, Selka Katie, and Union573. 
And then at our $1 tier, because it's all mixed up again, uh, Seb, Bean of England, Sydney, Lyra, Diz, oh, Dizbitch, Bizditch, Bailborn, Charlie, and Stephen Mayer. And, and with that, thank you. There's going to be uh, a whole bunch of new weird stuff on the channel. I'm trying to... I'm trying to do something I'm calling unburdening myself. I'm not going to try to do a, a ton of editing in one day. And I'm going to try to put out some smaller videos on top of big videos. Um, also, I, I want to give a quick shout out to my friend Andy. And I want to say, this isn't going to make sense to a lot of people. To him, he'll understand. I'm sorry for being a dumbass. I'm sorry for being an asshole, and I appreciate you so much, and the channel, the server, the Discord server, all of it, would not be where it is today if it wasn't for my friend Andy. So if, if you see him in the Discord, send him some love. If you see him uh, in the stream chat, say hi, say thank you. Um, he's a good friend. He's a really good friend. Anyways, with that, we're going to end the video. And uh, we will see you next time. Stop claiming videos, fucker. Fucker. <laughs>